Hi, hi, how are you? And Merry Christmas to you. I am so happy that you can join me today to celebrate the birthday of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I pray that you will have a wonderful and merry, merry Christmas. We are going to have a short Bible lesson today. And we are also going to sing two Christmas carols. But first, children, let us pray. Dear God, thank you so much for this beautiful and amazing day. We are celebrating the birthday of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for loving us so much that you sent your only son to die on the cross to save us from our sins. And he did not remain dead. He came back to life again. And we are so thankful because he gave us victory over all sin. So Lord, today we just come to say thank you. Thank you so much for the gift of Jesus Christ, your only son. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So let us sing a uh, long time ago in Bethlehem. And then we'll sing Silent Night. Long time ago in Bethlehem. So the Holy Bible says, Mary, born child, Jesus Christ was born on Christmas Day. Hark now hear the angels sing, a king was born today. And men will live forevermore because of Christmas Day. Hark now hear the angels sing, a king was born today. And men will live forevermore because of Christmas Day. Long time ago in Bethlehem, so the Holy Bible says, Mary, born child, Jesus Christ was born on Christmas Day. Hark now hear the angels sing, a king was born today. And men will live forevermore. Christmas Day today and I hope you are happy. I hope you are thankful to God for taking care of us since the year began in January up to today and we thank God for the birthday of our Lord Jesus Christ who was born many 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 years ago but today we still celebrate that special day because that is the day our Savior was born. So let us read the book of Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6 and this is what it says. A child is born to us, a son is given to us and he will be our ruler. He will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father and Prince of Peace. That is our Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. And to us, a child is born. A child is born.
born to us, a son is given to us. And that is our Savior, Jesus Christ. And so we thank God, children. We thank God. We cannot take for granted the fact that God gave us his only son, his only one and begotten son to come, to be born like each and every one of us sinners. Very simple, when boys and girls, because he was born in a manger. He was born where cattle and sheep and goats were animal, domestic animals are kept. Because there was no other place for him to be born. All the other rooms were booked, fully booked. So they had the Mary and Joseph, the only space they found for the Savior to be born was in a place where animals were kept. And when the baby was born, baby Jesus, he was wrapped in strips of cloth and he was laid in a manger. All right? That is how humble our Savior was, even at birth. And he, he grew up doing what is right, obeying his parents, obeying God, going to church, and doing what is right until when he was an, an, uh, an adult and he did the work of God, he took care of the, the sick, he healed the sick, he, he, he fed multitudes of people and he, and he even raised the dead. Remember Lazarus? He even raised another boy who was dead. Jesus did good when he was on earth. And, and boys and girls, we are also expected to be like Christ. We are expected to do what is right, to always be obedient, to obey God, to obey um, the, 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 uh, the, the people who are in charge of us, our guardians, our parents, our teachers. Let us learn to do what is right because Christ Jesus left us a wonderful example of doing what is right. So unto us today, we are celebrating a son who is given to us. A child is born, and that is Jesus Christ. So yay! We rejoice at the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. We celebrate with pure hearts the birthday of our Lord Jesus Christ. And remember to allow him to be born in your heart. That's where he wants to live. As we celebrate Christmas today, remember the greatest gift that you can ever receive is our Lord Jesus Christ. He is the greatest gift. We were given by our Father in heaven, Jesus Christ, and no one else can ever give us a greater gift than the gift of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And also remember that he is the greatest superhero that ever lived. Others, hmm, I don't know about them, but I know one great hero that ever lived, and that is Jesus Christ. So Jesus Christ is the greatest gift that we have ever received, and he is the greatest hero that ever lived. Okay? Thank you so much, boys and girls. That's the end of our Bible lesson today. Our memory verse is going to be the same verse that we have read. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. A child is born to us. A son is given to us. And he will be our ruler. Okay? You can continue and finish. He will be called the Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, and Prince of Peace. Thank you, boys and girls. That was beautiful, just knowing that a son, a child has been born to us. A son is given to us. Okay? So let us pray. Dear God, thank you so much for sending Jesus Christ, your only begotten son, to come and die for our sins. We celebrate today the birthday of Jesus. We celebrate with joyful hearts. We celebrate with holy hearts. We celebrate with pure hearts. And we welcome him into our hearts that he may be our king, that he may be 
king over our lives, that he may be king over our families, that he may be king over everything that we do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much, boys and girls. Once again, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. And I pray that you will enjoy every step of this day and enjoy in a nice way. Remember, we are celebrating the birthday of the greatest superhero that ever lived. The, the, the the birthday of our Lord Jesus Christ, the greatest gift that we can ever receive. Bye.